Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, before I show you as usual short footage from my FPV quad, this time it will be Gepard C Mark V, I would like to show you what are the camera settings which I'm using for my DJI O3 Air Unit. And this Air Unit I'm using across all my free drones, so Gepard C Mark V, then I have a uh, small 4 inch long range quad which is Flywoo Explorer version 4 if I remember correctly light and fantastic drone under 250 grams if you put on it uh, 850 milliamps or 900 milliamps uh, battery pack and then there is also DJI Avata so all three drones are using exactly the same camera settings which I will show you right now on the screen. So first of all uh, in your goggles I'm using goggle 2 but it doesn't matter. Uh, you jump to the settings tab and then under the settings tab there is a uh, camera panel or camera settings uh, tab uh, and under this tab there are first four or five parameters which uh, which are right now on the screen. So aspect ratio I set, I set to 16 by 9. Then video quality. I'm based in Poland, so I'm using uh, two frame rates, 25 or 50 uh, frames per second, sometimes 100 if I use my camera and I need very slow footage. So in case of DJI O3 Air Unit camera, I set it to 4K 50 FPS. Uh, then camera field of view is set to white. And this is important because if you use uh, gyro flow to stabilize the footage, then uh, gyro flow requires the camera field of view to be set to white. Uh, you cannot set it to super white, then gyro flow stabilization won't work. At least that's how I understand it. Then you have uh, EIS, which is basically image stabilization in camera. Uh, in practice, you can set it to rock steady. Uh, I set it to off because again gyro flow requires this to be set to off otherwise the stabilization uh, won't work as it should be. Then ISO I always set to auto and uh, with auto ISO I set the ISO uh, limit to 400 as you can see on the screen so I don't try to go uh, above this, uh, this value I don't go to 640 or 800 and in practice it means that depending on the lighting conditions the ISO jumps between 100 and 400 and the GI03 unit uh, manage it quite well in my opinion GoPro Hero does it better but uh, with uh, Air3 uh, sorry with Air Unit 03 it's still okay so again my ISO is set to auto with the ISO uh, limit set to 400. Uh, shutter speed because I'm using frame uh, frame rate 50 fps so the shutter speed is set to fixed value which is 1 over 100 of the second so I am I'm using the uh, 180 rule uh, if you don't know what it is just jump to the Google type it and you will find it easily and then below you have another section there is a tab which is called advanced camera settings and under, adv under advanced camera settings there are uh, three more uh, parameters so the color space I set it to this in like then I have uh, slightly more data in the post-production to color grade the footage and finally I set my sharpness and noise reduction to uh, negative value sharpness I set usually to minus one sometimes to minus two but recently I keep uh, minus one and noise reduction is always set to minus two in my opinion DJI Air unit with noise reduction set to zero or the positive value like one or two makes it too kind of plasticky and I don't like this look uh, when it's set to minus two I can then uh, if needed I can do the noise reduction in post-production so these are the settings mainly let's jump into the footage and see you in another video please consider subscribing if you like the content on my channel ciao